charters. You can come with us and do a full day, half day, or extended overnight charter. And tonight I've got Paul and Charlotte with us, and I'm taking them to one of my favourite spots out here to chase some really high quality reef fish. Hopefully it goes absolutely off. They can fish as long as they want tonight and straight up first thing in the morning. I was lucky enough to be in the cabin we sound over this spot. There was some massive fish on the bottom. I watched the way Al anchored, absolutely magnificent. It's not going to be long and you're going to see a very big bend in this rod. It's a long way to the top. Yep. <laughs> Please be gold. <laughs> gold? Gold. Yeah, we want a gold band Gold or red. It's a nice nanny. Thank you. Well done. I'll grab your rod. You grab the fish. And that is a very, very good start in a soft plastic. Is that a small mouth or a large mouth nanny guy? Uh, it's, it's a large I mouth. I think it's a large. Well done. That is awesome. And on a soft plastic, well done. That is a cracking start. There's fish on the sounder. Skipper reckons it's all good. Yep, got him. Oh, well, I was just talking to Charlotte about her beautiful nana guy. You might want to take that one to the uh, filleting station. And my rod was in the rod holder behind me. And oh, he's taking string. And this is what Al said. He literally anchored on a nice bit of reef. And he said he saw a patch of nana guy. And when he saw that patch of nana guy, he said, look, they'll come through. And the boat's sort of been drifting a bit. I say drifting, sort of yawing on the anchor. And we literally had to just wait until they come through and then find us pretty much. And this, oh, I think it's gonna be a nice nanny. The good thing about these nannies, they grow to sort of seven, eight kilos at times. And they're just so good to catch, so good to eat. I think it's we just like found nice them, fish. eh? Yeah, yeah it like feels, feels pretty there. good. It's no monster, but the good thing is, I reckon they're only gonna get better nice. as the night gets older and at 60 metres of water, they take a long time to come up, Charlotte. They sure do. Here we go. Oh, look oh. at that. You're in charge, Charlotte. Awesome. Good nana guy, Paul. Yeah, baby. Look at that. How pretty are these fish? Look at that. Now, he's come up from a depth, which is why his eyes aren't looking too hot. But the good thing is, we're going to eat this fish, it doesn't matter. They pull hard, don't they? They sure do. You know 60 what? 60 metres of water. 60 metres. There's fish down there that can dig that hole. How awesome is this? Pull up in the middle of the ocean, Charlotte. Put the lights on, look what appears. Little flying fish. A little flying fish actually flew into the boat. Now, if you look at the anatomy of this fish, look at those wings. Those pectoral fins are actually wings. These things can fly hundreds of metres. Look at that caudal fin, the tail there. Notice how the lower lobe is bigger than the top lobe. That actually gives them lift. And the reason these things love to fly, it actually helps them escape from predators. Because I'm a good bloke, this guy's going back. How incredible is that? So the easiest way to rig a soft plastic, as I always like to line it up, see where the hook comes out, make a little mark, the hook, and you got a little rip there, and just push it straight through. So I've just turned the squidgy side on just so I can push it up easier. And then once I get to my marker, I'm just going to turn it sideways and push it out from its back. Just like that. Ready for a few more nano guys. You uh, have an Instagram page. Yeah, sure. And do. I had a look, you got some very big fish on that page. <laughs> For people watching, if they want to follow you, how do they find you on Instagram? Um, just Charlotte Close, my name. Um, yep. K-L-O-S-E, last name. That's pretty much it. Well, you know what? You're going to get two more followers now because my mum and my dad are both watching. <laughs> They're the only two. Hands and Annie. Follow Charlotte. She's a very good angler. <laughs> just dropping down to the bottom. Takes a while to get down there, 60 odd metres. I'm going to touch straight away. Look at that rod tip. Bang, bang, bang. Just waiting for weight. Yep, gotcha. Oh, that's what I like. I reckon when it comes to all forms of fishing, one of my favourite things oh, is when you get a fish that starts to shake its head and try and rip you back into the reef when you're bait fishing. Plastics fish. Look at that. When that rod really bends and you get absolutely stretched, it could be a King George whining down south, a big nana guy out north. It doesn't matter. It is such a good feeling. And I love these little rods because they just buckle so much and give the fish that bit of a chance just to put some stretch in the system. I reckon we might have a nice nanny here. And as that boat spins around, ooh, just took a bit of string. I like that too. When they pull string, they just grow inch by inch. Look at that. 
I see colour. What do we got? Oh, it's a nanny guy on there's a shark up his tail. That is a beautiful fish, very hard to see in the dark, but this is starting to get towards those quality fish would expect. Look at that. That is absolute stonker. Look at those colours there, the crimsons. And you'll see, if you go down towards his tail, look at that tail there. That's why they call them saddle tail snapper, because you can literally get on that quarter fin and ride this baby all the way home. That is absolutely amazing. We are in the middle of an extremely hot bite on these beautiful nanogai. Unbelievable, using artificials and baits. Now my bait rig, a lot of people like to fish bait. Basically, I've got a pad noster. There's my sinker, it's on a dropper, sits over the side there. I've got this beautiful little dropper here with two hooks, VMC octopus, VMC circle. And you'll notice I've got a squid, and that squid is hanging on both hooks. And I've just put a souri straight through the eye on the bottom. The theory is it goes down. The souri, the pickers blow it to bits. That acts as the burly. My squid is on both hooks. The presentation is sensational. They come back for the squid, and that's where it's big trouble. Charlotte, I'm fishing a bait. Yep. It's anchored to the bottom, but you're fishing a plastic. What tips you got for people who want to come out and try plastics in deep water? Oh, for me, preferably, I just like fishing a plastic. It just feels a lot more natural. Um, I just fish the first couple metres in the water column. Yep. Find that, get a better reaction out of all the fish and a lot more quality fish over quantity. I, I actually find that is the case. You get that reaction bite from real big fish. Yep. And it's hard because sometimes you go, oh, someone caught a fish on bait, and you go to change. But if you stick, oh, if you stick with plastics, this happens. Oh, that's a, that is a big fish. Go hard, and that's awesome. And that's a classic case. I'm literally soaking a squid right next to this squidgy, and Charles absolutely nailed this fish. What are you thinking? No bit idea. Of, bit of a nanny? Big thing. Make it up, make it up. <laughs> bit of a nanny? It's got huge head shakes on it. Might be a massive nanny. And this is a squidgy whip bait? Yep, white squidgy whip bait. Now, you went through my whole pack, and you picked white. What was the whole deal there? White just works. It does, eh? It does. <laughs> Whether it's barramundi, sailfish, doesn't yep. seem to matter, white works. It's just a favourite colour. This is a really nice fish, eh? And that just goes to show, artificials work well. Well done. That is a cracker nanny on a placky. There we go. Now, oh yeah, baby. Look at the size of that. Now tell me, why do you love fishing soft plastics? So I gave you the option, yeah. jigs, bait, plankies, and you just went plastics. I think plastics, you get a bit more reaction out of them and obviously quality over quantity. And as you can see, it's a pretty good nanny guy. And at the end of the day, they work, don't they? They do. How many people come in to tackle a cool linger and go, oh, soft plastics, not sure, I'll stick yeah. with squid? Squid's always the traditional method, but I think if you stick with it and work with it, then you're gonna get the results. I've gotta say, squidgies have been out for about 18 years now, and they are leading the way catch fish like this, how could you possibly complain? Rods in the morning, Charlotte. Oh, oh yeah, she's oh. taking a string. Looks like a good fish. It Paul. looks like a very solid fish. And I love bending rods in the morning. How good <laughs> are these weather conditions, Charlotte? It's beautiful. Glass out this morning. Awesome. So good. I slept like an absolute log. The aircon down there was so good. <laughs> yeah, it was. But I jumped out of bed when I heard that anchor go down because I knew we were in for a very good sesh. Whatever it is, Charlotte, it is solid. What do we got here? We got colour. They all look white when they first appear. I tell you what, this one looks all white. What have we got? It is a beautiful red emperor. Red emperor. Seriously, red emperor. As I said just before, the number one bottom fish in Australia. What am I almost saying in the world because they're just so incredible. To get to Darwin, head into tackle, calling. I'm assuming you're going to put people on the reds. Sure can. That is the go, and jump on Arafura Blue Water Charters, because seriously, how could you not want to do this? 